a landmark day for LGBTQ activists here in Utah. Today, Utah lawmakers unveiled a plan to ban gay conversion therapy for minors across the state. ABC 4's Andrew Reese is live now at the state capitol. He spoke with several people who've undergone treatment to try and change their sexual orientation and has their story. Andrew. Well, Emily, experts say it's not only ineffective, but dangerous, possibly even leading to attempted suicide among LGBTQ youth. And that's why lawmakers say the practice must end in Utah now. We first introduced you to Justin Utley in November. The biggest impact it had on me was me feeling like I'm broken. The openly gay Utah, now a recording artist, went through therapy to change his sexual orientation. It was excruciating, um, and I, I was an adult, and, and it was so excruciating. I, I tried to commit suicide, and you know I can't imagine going through this as a teen. I, I wouldn't be alive right now. But now, two Republican lawmakers are backing efforts to stop that practice in Utah for minors. Conversion therapy is not uh, effective and is particularly harmful. The practice was highlighted in the 2018 film, Boy Erased. Jared, God will not love you the way that you are. Now banned in 15 states, studies have shown conversion therapy increases depression and suicidal tendencies in LGBTQ teens. Kids like Nathan Daly, who attempted suicide after going through treatment to change his orientation. Kids just like me are not as lucky as I am, and it's not okay. And Arturo Fuentes, who underwent years of therapy at the recommendation of his LDS bishop, unbeknownst to his parents. Therapy, he says, damaged his relationships and his mental health. My therapist had said that I was gay because of poor parenting, a bad relationship with my dad, overbearing mother. But the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is now backing the bill. Troy Williams with Equality Utah praising the church for denouncing the practice. Things are moving forward. We are having dialogue. And lawmakers believe if House Bill 399 passes, this is what Utah does when Utah is at its best. Young lives will be saved. Now, if House Bill 399 does pass, then Utah would become the 16th state to ban the practice and it would become illegal for state licensed therapists to perform conversion therapy on LGBTQ youth. Live at the Capitol, Andrew Reeser, ABC4 News.